Hello guys and welcome back. Um, I, I wanted to take a quick pause today in our project and uh, kind of revisit our inking technique because I think that that is an important part for a lot of you guys in the project. Not for everybody, but it's a good skill to have regardless. So I have this handout here for you guys to go ahead and download. Um, you know, I had a video posted that we can watch uh, to help just kind of encourage you about uh, the importance of practice and getting better at it. So the goal here is not to have a perfect tracing of exactly what I have, which is what you can use this for, uh, but to use it as reference. So, you know, don't feel like it has to be exactly the same. The goal is to have thick and thin lines, control your brush pressure, and, you know, do the best you can with that. So before you start, don't forget, let's add a new layer and not draw directly on the background layer. And I'm going to go ahead and use, under Wet Media Brushes, Kyle's Ultimate Inking Thick and Thin. I think this is a really good uh, brush. All the default settings are pretty good. The only thing I did was go up here and just kind of bring my smoothing up to about 20%. Okay, and everything else is pretty much the uh, the same here, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just kind of start to trace this a little bit so that you can see, you know, I'm going to work on my pressure, thick versus thin. And again, does not have to be exactly the same. If once you get going, you're like, all right, I don't need this layer for a little bit, you can hide it or, you know, I guess I might need to add an extra layer in between with white. Um, but you're alternating pressure here and kind of working your way through there you know again obviously here thick versus thin hard pressure versus light pressure build that confidence in the line and i'm kind of getting off track here a little bit but that's the whole point is that you're building that confidence and trying to learn so you get all that part up above and then down below here you have the beta fish again it does not have to be exactly what i have here the goal is that you are trying to trace over and get the same sense of thickness and thinness but yours can have a different set of variety to it as long as you're getting that nice taper and getting a variety of thick and thin lines that is okay. Work on that. If you have any questions, uh, post them for me. This is something that should take you easily 20 minutes at the, the quickest. I really think that if you're doing this in less than 20 minutes, you're probably not quite um, getting the point of the activity. Uh, so work on that line quality, make sure that you're getting a good pressure. And then when you're done, you should be able to just post this Photoshop file right back to the assignment and, you know, maybe leave a comment, let me know how it went for you. Uh, and then ultimately, I'd love to see this quality of line work be applied to your current project. And I think that'll really help out. All right, guys, good luck today. Thanks.